All right. <clears throat> Let's look at question number one. Which expression is equal to the sine of 30? So there's two ways to do this. The first way is just typing each of your answer choices into the calculator. So you need to make sure your calculator is in degree mode for this question. So if we put our calculator in degree mode, let's see what happens. So if we do the sine of 30, that should give us 0 0.5. So if we type in our answer choices, like choice one, which says the tangent of 30, that doesn't give us 0 0.5. So it's wanting to know which expression is equal to the sine of 30. Now, if I type in the sine of 60, I do not get 0 0.5. If I type in the cosine of 60, I do get 0 0.5. So it's going to be choice three. And if I type in the cosine of 30, that doesn't give me 0 0.5. So for this one, it has to be the cosine of 60. Now, another way you can do this problem is if you remember way back when, you know that sine of a and cosine of b are equal when the angles add up to 90. So if I look at this, I sort of know it has to be choice 3 or choice 4 because I know sine is equal to cosine when they add up to 90. So if I know I have the sine of 30, I know that's going to be equal to cosine of x. So I can do, say, 30 plus x is equal to 90. Subtract 30 from both sides of my equation, and then boom, you get x is equal to 60. So that is why it's choice number three.